Hi everyone, this is Brenda with Workshop Scraps by Brenda and I have my finished project for this holiday gift basket. And I don't think I can zoom out anymore and I really don't want to take it apart but I want you to see what's in here. I'm sure I can put it back together. So it's full of tons of goodies and this is um, has lots of things pouring out of it and the problem I have is that I have, <laughs> I have some Lindor chocolates that I need to fit in there so I'm going to create a box on my silhouette and put one, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, it looks like seven Lindor chocolates that I've got to get into here. And then I'll be done. I can wrap it up. This is an ornament that I'm going to use as part of the tag and wrapping for the outside. So I think the Lindors can kind of fit where I just took this out. This is the greeting card. It's the cutest thing. It's pink. Um, and I embossed it with one of the cut -a folders. And it just has a little tag inside to say Merry Christmas. A little note from me. And um, this person's favorite color is pink, so that's why I kind of went with pink. But I'm going to try to show you what I have in here without disturbing it too much. And if I do disturb it too much, I just have to put it back together. So we're going to start from the back. These are Hershey's chocolate nuggets, nougats, nuggets, and I have them wrapped. I got this tip from YouTube. And I believe it was from, it was from the same person. She got it from someone else, but... It was Miss Miss Cooper Scoop or let's see. Her name is Miss Cooper Scoop. M S Cooper Scoop with um all one word. That's her YouTube channel and she um saw someone's channel that made these little gift chocolates. And so I have that and all these papers match this basket. I did use several different paper stacks and I'm sort of proud of myself because I'm using a lot of my scraps. Um, I knew I would make it pink and sort of green and then I have a whole pile of scraps over here and then in front of me I have like a sorter which you would use in like office supply, a file folder sorter that goes up and down like this. Let me see if I can show you. And um, it is where I put my stacks. I'm sort of trying to clean up. Let's see if you can see it. There it is. All messy junky. All that. And um, let's get back down here. Sorry about that. I put my stacks there so I can just kind of put my scraps from the current project there and pull from there so everything sort of coordinates. Okay. These are cocoa pouches. And um, they have um, what the recipe in them for, um, what they call it, snowman soup. But it's really... Um, a, coke, a hot chocolate pouch with a pepper, pepper uh, candy cane, peppermint candy, and um, what else? Some um, marshmallows, mini marshmallows. And then I just used some more of the paper and matted the box and cut this out on the silhouette and says enjoy. I didn't know I had enjoy on here twice. Too bad, so sad. Nobody will mind. All right. This is the paper that I use for inspiration for this color design. And so the next box I create will be out of this to put all those um, uh, these Lindor chocolates in to finish this package off. I kind of like it. I really do. I didn't have any, um, I don't know what you call that stuff. It's, um, it's not confetti, but the stuff you use when you're wrapping gifts. You do gift baskets. Um, I only had craft, like a craft paper one, which didn't match this. Um, it's called... Um, it's called Gift Baskets Shredded Paper. I only had this, which is brown, and I didn't want brown. Then I had tinsel. I really didn't want tinsel either, like that. So what I did is I just got some white tissue paper, kind of put it in here to kind of so I could stack my my boxes and my elements in so that they would stay where I put them. Okay, so this is another snowman soup pouch. Uh, having some challenges. I'm just going to take it out. Okay. Snowman soup pouch. Chocolates. Another snowman soup pouch. Different, but still match. Got a little jingle bell on here. This is um, seam binding. Pink seam binding with a little jingle bell that's on there. And they're, These are little snowflakes that I punched out and put on there. They're in glitter paper. Okay, we have white pretzel and peppermint 
pretzels covered in white chocolate and peppermint. These are really, really good. And so I just filled this bag up as much as I could. And um, this bag topper is embossed. Can you see that? It's embossed with holly leaves. And then this, I just cut this element out of a paper stack. I thought that was pretty neat. Inked it all in pink. And then at the top of it, you may be able to see it. These are some sort of pine, uh, wintry, Christmassy something. It's not snowflakes. It's this. It's this stamp here from, I think this is EK Success. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name of it. It's an edge punch. And what I did is I took some of my, that glitter paper white and I edge punched and put it behind here so that's nice and then here this is a little packet oh I said I was going to put some mittens on here I might not be done but this packet has tea bags in it um don't know if I can I got this idea from someone on the internet wasn't my idea but it's covered in um pattern paper with little mittens and it has four Four, two in each side for the little bags of tea for hot tea for those people who drink tea. I thought that was kind of cute. So you put it together, have the person's name on a little tag with a little Christmas tree and tape. I didn't have any washi tape that really matched pink. I only had one roll that was sort of Christmassy that I picked up sort of by accident from Hobby Lobby. It's this one, it's red and white. Um, um, chevron and uh, uh that didn't go so this is really like a white painter's tape so it doesn't really stick a lot so it'll be easy to open and i stamped it with um some archival ink green it says be merry and bright so i'm gonna um i thought i might put some mittens on here but i think i'm gonna be done with this basket i've been working on it for about six hours these are other white pretzels these are the um Flips, I think they're called flips, it's just, but they're good. And um, I made the topper the same way, embossed it with a snowflake folder. And these are snowflakes that I put one behind this um, mat and then one on top with a bling. And this came from a paper stack. I'm using mostly, if I can find a paper stack, I might have put it up or it might have. Nope, nope, nope. It's, it's, um... It'll come to me. We're going to keep moving. I just had it. Um, oh, well. It's, I got it from Michael's. and um, So it has a lot of good papers in it. And I'm surprised I don't have it there. But, okay. And here I have... This is a gift tin. That um, Inside I have those cookies from... What's the name of them? Nope, they're the cookies that you use that they give you on the airline flight when you're flying out everybody knows what they are um but that's what's in here so it just says enjoy i cut a lot of these enjoys out on my silhouette for and i just kind of used them here this is just some seam binding that i tied on with a little pink twine so that it can match okay this is a sour cream container that i made out of some foil foil um scrapbook paper and I put the little edging on with a scallop blade on my Fiskars cutter and um, seam binding with a little miniature um, ornament. I thought that was kind of cute. So you put that back in there and then these are the alternative wraps for the um, York peppermint patties. Um, I got the idea from Miss Cooper Scoop, who got it from somebody else, Miss Irina. I think it was Irina. Crafty Irina on YouTube. And so I did use their method, and um, you can check out their channel. It will show you um, how to make them, or if you leave a comment and need to know, I can um, post the dimensions. Oh, I'll just tell you now. How about that? I take a strip of paper, cut it five and one half inches by two and three fourth inches. Then I score it at one inch, three inch, and three and a half inch, and fold it up. So, and then I inked all the creases and all the edges. You put a little staple. You put your candy in, and I secured it with, um, I think, some snail or a glue dot. And then I stapled it right at the edge on the back, so it doesn't staple the candy, and it closes like a matchbox. Well. 
sort of. You gotta pop it open. And then this is just a punch snowflake with bling. So that was cute. And I think that's it. I'm gonna make that last box um, to hold these um, Lindor chocolates. I'm gonna wrap it up in cellophane with the tag and the ornament and little foo-foo bows and stuff. It's gonna be really cute. So thanks for watching.